It is the fastest team sport in the world, and here it seems even faster. Hockey at Penn State is an awesome spectacle. The, goal, fires and scores! the players are a reflection of our people. Picks it up, fires and scores! With a DNA inscribed by the work ethic of all of those who came before and inspired by the roar of the greatest student section in college hockey. Simple but elegant blue and white uniforms worn by players who always put the team first and yet their game is complex. Perpetual motion, toughness and courage mixed with artistry and finesse. Shot, score! And all of their work has brought them here to the intersection of evolution and immortality. Seven seconds in, what a start! Minute by minute, day by day, Penn State hockey is chasing history. And their journey is our reward. This is passion. This is pride. This is the Penn State hockey story. Autumn at Penn State and the Nittany Lions weren't getting a whole lot of attention outside of Hockey Valley. Inside the room, it just served as more motivation for an already motivated group. The question loomed, how good can this team be? As good as we want. I think that's how good we are, and I think that's how good we can be. The sky's the limit with us, so really excited. Uh, we just got to come out ready and play our game. Boys are fired up. Lacing them up for the first game action of a new season is always a refreshing and exciting time, but especially at Pagula Ice Arena, where the atmosphere is always a combination of New Year's Eve and Mardi Gras. The team's at its best when you can roll four lines and three pairings. So, do you yeah. feel like you have the personnel to do that? Yeah, I think so. It's the way we've, we've been successful with things anyway and how we play, and I do feel that way. Um, I, I think we're very deep. Obviously, we didn't lose any forwards, and we added three excellent ones. Including two of the highest scoring players out of the transfer portal, and it didn't take long for them to feel at home. Save, rebound, score! Calder joins Penn State, second among all active players in points. Tour Linden didn't take long to pick up his first PSU point either. Linden skates on free, far circle, tied up by two, feathers it out front, Kerwin, he scores! Ryan Kerwin! It's no mystery why Linden and Calder wanted to bring their seven seasons of combined experience to this electrified program. And we are absolutely uh, much further ahead of where we were the last two years. Rolling puck down front, score! Ryan Kerwin stuffs it in! Jones survey sends it out front, shot, score! Tyler Gray! Can I say hi then? We just got to switch because I know. Matt Berger, high slot, shot, score! The Lions continued their tradition of quick seasonal starts with a two-game sweep of Canisius. Buckley closed him out, out front, Kerwin, he scores! Kerwin would be named the Big Ten third star of the week, but this was about grit and checking as much as it was about scoring. Settled down, fired, score! Ashton Calder! Right on his tape and he buries it! And takes the bank pass, three on one, Kerwin, centers, Linden, back door, score! Dowd's goal, one of 12 the Lions scored the first two games. And Penn State comes right back into the attacking zone. Numbers there, McMenamin back in her out front. McEachran, he scores! Connor McEachran! It was a season opening sweep that had Pagula pulsating. The smiles on the ice and in the stands made everyone realize why they love this team and just how much they had missed Penn State hockey during the offseason. Wall dangling towards the front of the goal, fires and scores! That was filthy! But it was a clean sweep. The first stone and a foundation to build upon. Where are we going? Stick room. Thursday night, Tilly against Mercyhurst. Seven o'clock at the peg. Unreal atmosphere. Uh, best atmosphere in college hockey, easily. 
uh, everything I've ever dreamed of, completely honest. Something you can't recreate anywhere else, to be honest. Just a great, great place to be. Mercyhurst this weekend. Um, we got some stuff to build off from last weekend. Hey, come on, Twal, eh? Hey, boys, let's build off from last weekend. And tonight, let's make sure we win all the objectives. We are! That's it! We are! That's it! Penn State got right to work. Off we go. Penn State controls the opening face-off here on this Thursday night. Lead pass, burning into the attacking zone. Linden, he scores! Seven seconds in. What a start! Tor Linden! It's the earliest the goal has ever been scored in a Penn State hockey game, and it's Tor Linden! Tour brought the arena to its feet with an historic goal and the Nittany Lions set a frenetic pace. Hey. I'm also front, eh? I know. Nice try. We've got to start winning the pucks we need to win. We can't just be giving easy wins away and playing in our zone. Miller Gratton hunting for the puck. Creates the turnover, shown slot, two on one, walks to the goal, power move, backhand shot, he scores! Sean gives Penn State the lead! Penn State was building chemistry. Linden grabs it behind the goal. Wall back door, stuff and tap, he scores! Wall from Linden right on his tank. Penn State reclaims the lead. Through Dylan Grattan a shot, score! Dylan Grattan! His first as a Nittany Lion! The Nittany Lions had six different goal scorers. Berger in from the line, walks below the near circle, to the goal, he scores! Five hole, Christian Berger! Grabbed by Carter Shade, into the attacking zone, two on one, has Grattan with him, lets it fly, save, rebound, score! Tyler Grattan! This team was morphing into a family, brothers one and all. Good game, good game. Nice goal. The next day, Penn State took a bus to Erie for game two of the home and home series with the Lakers. Good game last night. The boys uh, finished out strong. Hopefully tonight's the same. Um, we gotta be ready to go. Right from the drop of the puck, we all understand what's going on and we all do it. Paulie, you and D. Gratz, Suli, you got it. Linden wins the draw. In front, rebound, score! Kevin Wall! On his fourth goal of the season. This was a tougher game, but one tailor made for guys like Gratton and DeNaples. Now a chance for Gratton out in front. The Naples scores! The puck came free to the slot, and the captain, Paul De Naples. And Penn State's grittiest line showed off their finesse. Here comes a chance for the Nittany Lions. Sarlo, two on O with Paquette. They score! A big goal for the Nittany Lions. Ten goals in two games from nine different players. And the number one star from Penn State, number three, Paul Tanapples. But this game was about building toughness for the long road ahead. Find something you love to do and it will never seem like work. Thomas, Thursday, Friday, had a good start to the season so far. I think we're playing really well, can't take these guys lightly. Or else you'd rather be in the peg on a Thursday, eh? Press it! Press it! The Nittany Lions' depth is turning heads. Penn State starting to change, Tor Linden hops on the ice, joins the other two forwards. Penn State won the battle behind the goal, centered shot, score! Right into Linden! Freaking 
Okay. No way, dog. Hey. Back towards the far point, reaching Dowd. Reels it in for the Nittany Lions. Dowd point to point. Simon Mack, near circle. Shot. He scores! Top corner! What a shot! Hey, hey! Hey, is that his first? Simon Mack's unsung defensive play is why so many were so happy with his first goal. And State catch below the goal, low to high, point to point, Dylan Gratton, far point shot, score! Ricochets on through! Every shift, this team was building bonds. And on the ice, they were building a winner. And in knockdown, puck side of the goal, wedged out front, Jonah alone, shot, he's robbed, rebound, he scores! The Lions took this one over with three goals in the span of just 66 seconds. Music to the ears of Nittany Nation. The boards he skates, wheels back to the line, hands for Dowd. Dowd centers, Kerwin drives, he scores! One-timer, Ryan Kerwin! Penn State was enjoying the fruits of its labor as sweat and hustle on some plays gets rewarded on others. Two on two, Geneev leaves it back, Shone. Shone, far circle, below the ring, back door, Geneev, he scores! Danny Geneev! The second game of the series helped kick off Penn State's homecoming weekend on a Friday night. And this time, things would be a little tighter against St. Thomas. The Nittany Lions entered the weekend the second highest scoring team in the country. And once again, they would score the first goal. McEachern weaves back door, McMenamin, he scores! Connor McMenamin! After a slow start to the game, the Lions seemed to find their sea legs late in the first. Noah Grannon got the start and goal in 19 seconds after McMenamin scored his first of the season. Ben Copeland got his first as well. Back of the net, down attacking zone, deep slot. Copeland drags, fires, and scores! Ben Copeland! But the stubborn Tommies would tie it by the middle of the second. Lee back to the line, one-timer, Gower scores! Top shelf, hammers it in, two to two. Now it was a dogfight to get the game winner. Circles back to the line, lets it fly, redirected high by Grant. Off the net, scramble up front, right towards the goal crease, scramble there with five. Both teams tried for nearly 35 minutes to get the go-ahead goal as the game spilled into overtime. Penn State's unbeaten record was in jeopardy. Down below the nearest circle, wrap around, stuff it, tap, sliding right, Trotter kicked it away. Down to the final minute, one of the stubborn goalies would break. Wall runs the net off the moorings with 42 seconds left. Backhand shot, stone again by Grannon. What a stop, 25 seconds left, racing through center, McMenamin gets a breakaway to the goal, backhand shot, he scores! Connor McMenamin, coast to coast, wins it! Overtime winner, three! There were lots of heroes as the Nittany Lions toughed one out on a night where they didn't play their best. Another building block with Big Ten play ready to begin in a week. Take me through on the... Oh, no, I'm not, Mez, I'm not doing that. You know, I know, because you know why I... No, I'm going to get chirped. I'm not doing that. Just describe what happened. what happened. I skated down the ice, and I beat a guy to the net, and I luckily went in the net. <laughs> I am not showing you how it will happen, because I will get chirped for my, the rest of my life. Come on. you got to tell me what happened. Absolutely. Just show me a little. Where did, you, where did you pick up the puck? Down there, at the net, and then I skated up the ice. But, and then I just saw I had a lead, so I took it. That was it. Go on. <laughs> Tried my only move I know how to do on a breakaway and it went in. <laughs> That's my goal.
I am not showing you how I did it. He tried to get me to re-skate my goal in overtime and like show how I did it. I was like, you know how bad I get tripped for the rest of my life? I just did that. Do you want me to re-knock it? Yeah. I was open. You ever been the most hated guy in the league? I was open on a breakaway. We have a bunch of dogs who are going to bark really loud at you. <laughs> I'm Andrew McMenamin, I'm Connor's mom, and we're in Collegeville, Pennsylvania. Well, his older brother didn't start till he was seven, so he got a late start, apparently. Everything we did was a competition, like stick handling in the basement, mini hockey. You know, I looked up to him in every aspect of life. It started off, he was, he was basically a rink rat. We put him in skates, Connor was three. We were like, you know what, let's put him on the ice. So that's what we ended up doing. We put him on the cross ice and um, Oh, we, actually, we gotta show him the video. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> we gotta show him the video. First check. Yeah. His first cross check. <laughs> <laughs> From Valley Forge Colonials out to the Junior Flyers. When we were 12, we played it for the Hershey Quebec team. Ended up winning that championship. That was a cool experience. <laughs> Then we got a call from Shattuck St. Mary's. Off, off he went. Did three years there, three back-to-back uh, -back national championships. Yeah! Held, and off to the far side, cutting in towards the slot. Risser scores! And Shattuck St. Mary's takes the lead back. Yeah, I used to think that was cool to have a fat head of myself, and uh, not so much anymore, but it's stuck up there, so. Got picked up by the USHL, went to Sioux City Musketeers. This is probably one of my all-time favorites right here. This uh, yellow Sioux City one, this is our third jersey. But uh, not a lot of people liked it, but I, it was it's definitely my favorite. Did a year there, and then two at uh, Tri-City Storm. Uh, I think I bring compete, uh, I bring some Skill and skating. Mark to Pearson. Back to Ambrosio holding on to it. Download four is Mark McMiniman fires scores. To McMiniman shoot scores. He kept asking about Penn State. When's Penn State gonna call? We got, you know, a number of offers from different schools and he wanted to be home because he had been away since he was fourteen. The, the call came in from Penn State. Came into <laughs> came into him. <laughs> and uh, Coach Kadowski goes, uh, so uh you know, Connor, I'm making you offer for Penn State, and he goes, I'll take it. I just fell in love with the campus, the rink, uh, the roar zone. Like I said, I wanted to be home, um, and Guy provided me with that opportunity, and I'm forever grateful for that, and, but yeah, I just, the whole time I knew, I knew it, I knew where I wanted to go. Penn State took an unbeaten record and a number 16 ranking on the road for their first Big Ten Conference games of the season at Wisconsin. And they would get the kind of goaltending necessary to win on the road from Liam Solier. To the far point, Berger, near side, Crespo. Crespo fires, deflection, score! Kevin Wall, the veteran. Shot, score! Goal line and in! Tyler Paquette from no angle. That would be the game winner and a 2-1 to win that improved Penn State to 7-0, the best start in program history. And they would wash down a sweep thanks to more solid goaltending and timely scoring. Into the skates of LeMaster McMenamin, picks it up, fires and scores! Connor McMenamin! That goal was enough as Solier would post his first career shutout. Near side shown. Shown, top of the circle, down low, touch pass, Calder shot, score! After having a goal taken back by review in the second period, Calder's power play in the first minute of the third made it 2-0. Paquette now, on his backhand, walking in, power move to the front, shot saved by Mo, rebound, score, they score! And it's Sander Lampa with the goal. And the Lions were on their way to a fifth straight win over Wisconsin. Ekron's gonna shoot for the empty net and score! 
A 4 to nothing win as Soulier stopped 63 of the 64 shots he faced in Madison and was named the Big Ten's second star of the week. I don't know if this is one word, but a measuring stick. Like, I think we, we, we're we happy of where we're at. Um, I think we're excited to measure um, where we're at against the number one team in the country. So it is an opportunity, but I think I think also with that, it's it's curiosity. We really want to know. Um, we believe in ourselves. The team believes in themselves, and they want to know. And I think uh, this weekend uh, will give us a, a good answer. Number one team in the country, Friday night, Penn State. Place is going to be bumping for sure. Bumping is an understatement. There wasn't an empty seat in the place for the biggest game in college hockey this weekend. We got you all night. We got you all night. They would jam every nook and cranny to see how their Nittany Lions compared with the top-ranked Michigan Wolverines. The game started with the intensity you would expect. Tension and excitement filled every packed Pagula corner, on the ice and in the stands. Go let him skate. Who's first? I'm first. In the rankings, Michigan was first, Penn State 13th. On the ice, it didn't look that way. But neither goalie blinked in the first period of this one. Let's go well, though, boys. They're playing well. Not giving up a lot of chances. Just got to get a couple more pucks to the net. Crack on this goal, I think we'll be going. Great crowd. Great crowd. The second largest crowd in Pagula history watched two of the highest scoring teams in college hockey desperately working to score first. Down walking in on his backhand to shot score! Linden pots it in the open net on a great feed from Jimmy Dow Jr. It was the eighth time in nine games that Penn State scored the first goal. While it seems impossible that the building could hold any more excitement, Linden's goal produced some especially in the roar zone, sending tremors from the foundation to the roof. Rarely does a regular season goal cause this much reaction, but this was college hockey at its best. And the intensity ramped higher. Nittany Nation held its breath, looking for an insurance goal while Michigan anxiously looked for the equalizer. And while Penn State's first goal was the result of some excellent passing, it was nothing compared to the tic-tac-toe magic that gave them a two-goal lead. It's Calder. Calder drops McMenamin. McMenamin cross ice McEachern. One touch. Calder score! Ashton Calder redirects it into the back of the net. Two nothing Penn State. Great passing there from the Nittany Lions. A two-goal lead had to seem insurmountable to Michigan with the way Penn State was playing defense and the goaltending the Lions got from Liam Solier, who would post his second straight shutout. Back Solier would set a new team record going over 176 minutes without allowing a score, while improving his personal record to 7-0. Goal line shot, rings it off the post, rebound, score! Sander Lampa! The Nittany Lions wanted to know how they stacked up against the number one team in the country. They had an idea before the game, pretty well. After a 3-0 shutout, they proved it to themselves and everyone else on a magical night in the Pagula Ice Arena. Go get some young energetic guy. I need my rest.
first year. I'm getting old. I was going to sell it, but I was like, I got to go to the Roar Zone. Best student section in college hockey. And that Roar Zone had just watched their Nittany Lions knock off the number one team in the country while improving to 9-0 for the first time in program history. Wonder what the preseason pollsters are thinking now. Chasing history for the second consecutive week, Penn State looked to slay number one, but this time on the road. In this league, you're just going to face monster after monster, and we might as well get used to it. And I think that's why a lot of guys come to Penn State to play in this league, because that's the case. And uh, the fact that you've achieved done something once, it makes it a little easier to do it again. Relentless and creative, sacrificing the body with Carter Shade, and Penn State taking the fight right at the beast. Nittany Lions two on one, up the far wing, McMenamin. Centers, McEachran fires, he scores! Connor McEachran, a one-timer on a two on one, and Penn State strikes first. That's classic Penn State goal, yep. Will the Knights grabs it back and side of it on. To beat a monster, sometimes you must become the monster. Penn State gets the puck free. Odd man rush, Penn State. Sarlo out of the box. Sarlo racing after it. Sarlo into the first circle. Walks out front. Holt, waits, shoots, and scores! Christian Sarlo's got it! It was a goal for the ages. Sarlo trying to cut in. Pauses, waits, shoots, he scores! Oh, what a great effort that was by Christian Sarlo. Penn State had tilted the ice. Set up that first goal of the game. Trying to back jet, knock the puck away from Lacole. It's uh, hanging loose. Crossing is McEachran. He scores! Ooh. This line's got two goals now, both of them off the stick of Connor McEachran. Shot score! McEachran from between the circles buries it. McEachran gives the Nittany Lions a 3 1 lead. That was a blistering shot. The Nittany Lions were building their identity. Calder's got it! Calder trying to clear his zone. Now collars it in, fires towards the open goal. He scores! Ashton Calder from his own zone in empty netter. Penn State has done it again. A memorable night here at Mariucci. Penn State 4-2, upsets number one for the second consecutive weekend. With many monsters yet to slay.